Hey everyone, Aninda here and on this video I'll be showing you Cyanogen Mod 11 on my Samsung Galaxy Grand 2. So uh, here I'm running Cyanogen Mod 11 on my Grand 2. Let me just show you. It's on Android version 4.4.4. .4. Okay, at first let me show you the installation process. It's pretty simple, but still it's for some of you guys who need installation guide. At first we need to go to recovery mode so to install this rom you need to be rooted and you should be on 4.4.2 stock firmware or custom rom but you should be on kitkat and you should be rooted then i'll give a download link on the description so just download the link uh, i mean just download the rom from the video description and also download the g apps from the video description itself and uh, put those two zip files on the external sd card and after that and I suppose you have rooted your phone and you should be running uh, CWM as your recovery then what you wanna do is uh, back up your current ROM okay the one you, uh, which you are using right now back up that ROM and uh, do a wipe data factory so after that means at, uh, to back up a ROM just go to this uh, backup and restore then uh, select this option backup to external SD card Pre uh, just hit this power button and it will automatically back up your current ROM which you are using right now then uh, do a wipe data factory reset then wipe cache partition after that uh, select this option install zip then go to the external SD card CWM unofficial okay that's the one you'll select uh, this and will press the power button and it will automatically install the ROM and after that you need to flash G apps so here is the G apps just select it and hit the power button to install it after that just go back and just reboot your system then you need to wait for around two to three minutes for the ROM to be able to boot for the first time as the first hey guys as soon as the ROM boots up you will be greeted with the initial setup like your name and all so after that you, uh, once you come to home screen uh, you will not get the network so to get the network just go to settings then to sim cards and uh, configure sim cards then from here you will uh, active this sim at first it will be turned off just press on this active it will turn on then only you will get the network and uh, coming to the calling and all the first thing works fine means you can uh, call somebody and uh, you can SMS you can use data from the first sim and for second sim data works and SMS works not the calling as of now but first sim works just fine even calling and all everything works just fine but if you uh, turn on the speakers then you are able to hear lots of noise and that's a bug so that doesn't work means this speaker doesn't work but this uh, earpiece works just fine and as you can see I've installed a theme over here so you can uh, install lots of themes from Play Store the problem with KitKat on Samsung Galaxy Grand 2 was uh, the lag on games and all but just believe me guys uh, Asphalt 8 and Brothers in Arms and every uh, games which I've installed which works brilliantly uh, even I would say much better than 4.3 Jellybean and now coming to the benchmarks on this CM11 and uh, it got a score of around 17,789 which is pretty good you need to flash the G apps in order to get this Google applications and we'll sh just show you the Asphalt 8 gameplay as the gaming has improved a lot from the stock KitKat and I couldn't taste the battery life as of yet as uh, today only I flashed this ROM and that time the battery was around 33% and all so I couldn't uh, taste the battery but I think battery will be uh, pretty good as you can see we are running on uh, medium let me just switch to high guys just check out the gameplay you'll see the gameplay is much much faster from uh, the KitKat means from the stock KitKat
So guys, as you can see, the gameplay has improved a lot from the stock KitKat which Samsung has released. And now I think uh, Asphalt Daily is running great, just like a Nexus 5 or so. Uh, even I would say the Asphalt Daily is running much better than, uh, which used to run on uh, 4.3 Jelly Now talking about the bugs on this ROM is like uh, you can't play any videos, means video playback is currently a bug and even uh, shooting a video is currently a bug but the developer is working very hard to fix that very soon so if there is any new version available i'll post in the link on the video okay, now coming to the camera the camera works fine but video doesn't work to show you the camera is working or not let me just take a picture i will show you that camera is working fine and uh, there is one uh, more bug is that the auto rotation doesn't work and video playback and video recording as of now and the second sims calling doesn't work we can install thousands of themes and we can customize our phone starting with lock screen you can change lots of stuff from here you can uh, download new themes new styles icons fonts lots of them uh, even boot animations you know you can change the layout of notification drawer same goes for the status bar and guys this is the multitasking tray which you can on this rom from the lock screen you can directly unlock your device or you can directly go to messaging or to music player or to calls or to browser web browser works fine and even the wi-fi So as you can see the web browser is working just fine. And by default we get the Android web browser not the Google Chrome. Also GPS works fine, I have tried to use the Google Maps. Now let me show you what are the default applications which you get once you flash this ROM. So these are the applications which you get once you flash this ROM and the G apps. You get a FM radio, then a DSP manager is there, a Apollo music player. Now coming to the messaging application, this is the keyboard. It's nice, this is the dialer. Let me show you the contacts. You can use this ROM as a daily driver as we can make calls, receive calls and play games a lot more faster than we can do currently on KitKat based ROMs. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video then please click on like button and I'll post the links on the video description. Do check them if you are interested in flashing this ROM. So thanks for watching. This is Onindo. Take care.